organic, unpredictable, unknown, lovely, beautiful, a sense of fulfillment. This is part of the pleasures of life and not the chores of life. Thank you for tuning in to your latest edition of Daily Island TV, your television news, sports, and weather source for Daily Island. I'm Samantha Bear, broadcasting from the Daily Island Newsroom. The skyline of downtown Iowa City will be seeing some big changes soon. City Council voted unanimously Tuesday night to approve funding of a new high-rise building by developer Mark Moen. The new building will take the place of the old Wells Fargo Bank building in the pedestrian mall. This decision came despite public outcry with the funding of the deal, which entails that $2.5 million of tax increment financing funds, a public financing method, will be used. City Council defends their decision, saying that the 14-story mixed-use building will help spur economic development in Iowa City. During the heat of the summer months, staying active can be a little bit of a challenge, but one University of Iowa student is taking that challenge further, a lot further than most, and all for a good cause. Daily Iron reporter Adam Lacey has more. So when Billy Baker told me he'd be biking across America, I had my doubts and I thought I'll believe it when I see it. Well, seven months later, here I am in Iowa City, meeting Billy here as he's already completed 2,500 miles on his way to Washington, D.C. Through the organization Push America Journey Hope and his fraternity Pi Kappa Phi, Billy Baker and 78 other individuals are two-thirds of the way on a journey from San Francisco to Washington, D.C. to raise money and awareness for children with disabilities. Uh, one of the biggest things is that uh, most people see Greek life as pretty stereotypical and all of them are the same minus just uh, a couple of different letters that they have for the house title. However, there's no other fraternity in the United States that does anything close to what we do. A lot of them are going to do good things. They'll donate to like American Cancer Society or uh, youth organizations. But we actually own and operate our own organization, Push America. And so it's great to be able to see where all that money actually goes along the way. Uh, probably uh, Empire, Colorado. Uh, we had an absolutely beautiful ride in. It was my absolute favorite day of, uh, of riding for the entire trip. And then also we were able to interact with uh, camp counselors there and also the children that had uh, muscular dystrophy that were visiting for the week. And with all the highlights comes a lot of work and a lot of tough parts to overcome. The toughest part was probably uh, Nevada. Uh, there weren't a lot of towns and we had 100 mile rides throughout a lot of it because it was literally 100 miles to, to the next town. There wasn't anything in between. Also, there wasn't really anything for you to look at, and you would go through four or five mountain passes every single day, so it was quite a bit of climbing. Now in Iowa City, Billy just has around 12 to 1,300 miles left to go before he gets to the nation's capital. For the Daily Iowan TV, I'm Adam Lacey. And now for your sports update, here's Daily Iowan TV sports reporter Rachel Bedell. Wednesday night's Game Time League series, Hawkeyes Thierry Taylor and Morgan Johnson battle their injuries and fellow Hawkeyes, Trisha Nesbitt and Callie Pichelle. Thierry Taylor is coming back from a scope surgery as well as ACL injuries. She missed 53 games from 2009 to 2011 and played all 31 games last year. Morgan Johnson is struggling from patella tendonitis in both knees. Last year, Morgan made second team all Big Ten selection and started all 31 games. Both Taylor and Johnson are on playing restrictions from their athletic trainer. These restrictions consist of playing at three minute increments at a time. Taylor was a great contribution in her red shirt sophomore year. She was 31 for 90, shooting 34%. She had 86 rebounds as well as 17 steals and 11 blocks. She reflected a similar style of play at Wednesday night's game. Johnson finished her junior year 173 for 317 with a shooting average of 54%. She had 199 boards and set the school record with 70 blocks, which placed her second in the Big Ten and 26th in the nation. She will continue her leading role as she heads into her senior year. Johnson led her team with 13 points and Taylor with 12 points to lead Colin Painting over Coralville High V, 83-67. Rachel Bedell, Daily Iowan TV Sports. And before we leave, let's have a quick look at the local weather forecast. For Thursday, sunny skies will continue with a high of 89 degrees. The temperature will dip to 66 degrees that night. By the start of next week, temperatures are going to rise to the high 90s, so enjoy the slightly cooler weekend temps while you can. 
That's your latest update from Daily Iowan TV. Check us out anytime online at dailyiowan.com. Thank you for watching and have a great night. You have been watching Daily Iowan TV, today's news, sports, and weather from the newsroom of the Daily Iowan. You can watch Daily Iowan TV five nights a week on UITV cable at this time or anytime at dailyiowan.com. If you are a University of Iowa student and would like to join the award-winning Daily Iowan TV news team, we invite you to contact news director Ryan Jones at the email address on your screen or go to dailyiowan.com and click on the job ops link at the bottom of the screen.